Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Here on Passage of Skin. Today we're playing Made in Japan. We're playing Bunny Must Die, Chelsea and the Seven Devils. Yes, this uh, demo trial is actually available on the Japanese PSN and on the Hong Kong PSN. And I've pulled out a copy of it to give a try myself. It, from what I could tell, it is in this trial version, you can play up to the first area. See if that will not be saved to the memory card. So this is actually just a, a quick play experience. From what I know, it's a slightly roguelike platformer. So I hope this is actually going to be reasonably fun. D E R M. I would type pastiche, but it'd be too much space. So that's what's done and dusted. So let's take this bunny and die. Um, we're done. Derma. Oh, they're right. There's actually an end button. One in there. Knife. Okay. So we start the game mode in the year 1990X. A new cloud weapon utilizing the power of Pro Dynamics was launched, enveloping the world in furry flames and causing the outbreak of the Feline World War. While the survivors were on the verge of being plunged into the world fit, ruled by survival of the fittest, a peaceful use for the, for the same breakthrough in Pro Dynamics has fro was found, allowing all to live in peace, and everyone lived happily ever after. Three days later, a Pro Dynamic power plant explodes, and Bunny just so happens to be nearby. While she is unfortunate enough to, fortunate enough to escape harm, a curse placed on her by the exploded cat causes her to grow an adorable pair of ears. And so it came to be that Bunny looked like a rabbit. Or maybe a cat. Or maybe both. Or maybe neither. Who knew? Oh, I can't believe this poor little me. Sometime later, a chubby and divine messenger arrived from nowhere to guide Bunny deep into the cave of devils in the depths of the fairy forest so that her curse could be removed. But... A mad, but a, a mad bull attacked them just as they arrived at the Cave of Devils. The chubby and divine messenger found, fought the bull with all his might, but it was for naught. He was stabbed by the bull's super pointy horns 24 times and was sent straight back to heaven. 24 points of death. <laughs> yes, that's right, the chubby and divine messenger died. But it's okay, he comes again in the third day. And then the mad bull wandered off, but unfortunately for Bunny, she didn't know where the exit was, etc, etc. Etc. <laughs> okay, so we have to avoid dying in this dungeon. Okay. Oh, okay. This? You carved a list of your past sins into the headstone. Your life and time power has been fully restored. 30 seconds have passed. Ah, right, so the time that you spend in here? And uh, let's continue our search. Ah, uh, this is old school as fuck, man! You got the royal yellow dust. Your maximum time power has been increased. Oh, so you run out of time? Oh, man. And do I lose time whenever I go for health here? Is that what it is? Yeah, so I lose time if I heal. Getting on top of elevator and jumping from there will allow you to get to places that are otherwise unaccessible. If you're having trouble with your timing, you can always try stopping time, you know? Stopping time? How the fuck do I stop time? Alright, is that another way to go? Oh, wow! Alright, um... Whoa, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! That's actually pretty cool. So this is kind of like a Metroidvania-esque kind of thing. Whoa! Bitch! Get the fuck off me! Oh, shit! Oh, crap. Boom! Gotcha! Boom! Alright, is that not something that I can use? No. Okay. Boom! Powerful! Oh! Laser sword. <laughs> Did not mean for laser sword to actually do that. Alright, so can I go in here and around? No? No, apparently not. So I can't go through those grey pillars. Bam, 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 bam. Can I make it across this gap? Alright, so I... Oh, my time power is related to that, is it? Alright. That's interesting. Alright, so where do I might go from here? <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> Check it out. I'm a big manly man. Manly is the man. All right, so I'm assuming I can go somewhere. I'm, I'm thinking I need to go back the way I came. Right. 
Oh, that's annoying. Oh, crap! <laughs> I did not mean to fall down there. Come here, you. Whoa. Smash everything. So this is actually a pretty retro style kind of a platformer. Um, this feels very, very stiff in the jumping because I can't move and hit at the same time, so it kind of teaches you to practice your jumps a bit better. I'm, not, I'm, like, I'm liking the hell out of this. Um, I can play a full version of this, no problem. Uh, time. Sweet. Oh, there's the daggers back again. Alright, let's get some health. Empty essence, so there we go. Level up! Push the right switch. Okay. Oh, you serious? Alright, so I need to use it. Oh, wait, what? I want them. What the hell? How am I meant to do that? Make sure not to touch any spike pads growing on the floor because they hurt just as much as you imagine. You might be able to survive them if you have enough life. So. Why am I meant to get through this? So it counts down from one? That's really irritating, so I can't go through this way pretty much because I can't get uh, can't get in there. See the way it actually has a timer for these ones? Uh, so at 11, uh, sorry I didn't even notice in the chat there. At 11 it's going to be, um, well I, I think it was like 10. Uh, it was 10 uh, PST for the pre for the first day of the conference. I don't know what it is for the second one. Oh, oh god. Oh, poor bunny. So definitely a one-hit kill kind of situation whenever you hit the spikes. Yeah. Okay. So this has been Bunny Must Die. Uh, Chelsea and the Seven Demons, or Seven Devils. It looks fun, I actually enjoy the idea of that, but um, of course it's a, it feels quite restricted for it being a trial. I recommend you giving this a try, it's available on the Japanese and Hong Kong PSN stores. You can pull down a copy of it yourself to play through, it is, um, it's it's going to be out fairly soon. It looks pretty simple, I might look into Plantin Dispositif uh, to see what kind of um, what kind of game this actually is. Like see if there's actually, like a, well, how far does the world go, does it change quite a lot from being in that dungeon. Um, Let's see it. I'm assuming this is actually an older game that's been re-released, so I'm sure it's been around for a while. We'll take a look for it very soon. So uh, until then, guys, if you actually enjoyed what you saw here in this episode, you can hit the button up here to subscribe. It'll tell you whenever the next videos come out. Or you can go over to this side here and you can hit the buttons of the uh, playlist on the video to actually see all the stuff that's been made on the channel lately. So until that next time, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye.